Here with Michael O'Loughlin. Michael, congratulations. It wasn't too long ago where you were elected onto the Sydney Swans board. It must be pretty special to be part of the club in that way. Yeah, thank you. It's been a, um, an incredible, I guess, six weeks um, elected onto the board. I'm really looking forward to making a contribution. Um, I've spent, you know, pretty much uh, half my life here at the, at the Sydney Swans and uh, as a player, then as a coach and now being on the board, um, hopefully I can come in and contribute and, and, uh, and help the, the, the football club. It is such a strong organisation anyway, um, but I'm, I'm really uh, ready to roll up the sleeves and, and, and obviously learn um, from all the great uh, board members that we have involved with the footy club. What exactly do the Sydney Swans mean to you? They mean everything. I mean, there's plenty of sort of um, words that I can describe them with, but probably the best one is, is family. Um, I got here as a 17 year old, they took me in, um, and looked after me very, very well. Um, as I said, spent over half of my, my life here. My son is in the Swans Academy, the families are all passionate Swans supporters. Um, so yeah, it means the world to me to be able to be a part of the organisation again. Um, it's, uh, it's one that I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely so proud to, to be a part of. So uh, the footy clubs have got so many great people that have run through um, the club in over a number of years now. And, and that sort of tradition, I guess, continues. Um, and you know, nothing better than coming to the football on a, on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon and watching the boys play and, and, and obviously have a great win. You had a huge contribution uh, to the club as a player, but moving forward, this presents a really good opportunity for yourself to have a bigger impact off the field, fair to say. Yeah, look, um, you know, I'm a business owner, so being able to sort of bring that now into what the Swans uh, make up already is, as I said, they're a very, very strong football club with very, very strong foundations. So um, really looking to, to, to listen and learn and, and seeing how the organisation has been run um, over a number of years now. It's always been an aim to sort of to, to contribute in some way again, back um, as not only as a player and a coach, but now as, as a board member. So. Um, I'm really excited. It's um, we've got a bunch of new kids playing the game. Um, it's uh, you know it's been a long time since I've played and pulled the boots on. on so uh, I just I love everything about this football club. Um, I think what we do in um, as a as a footballing department um, and go out and contribute and obviously win games of football is our number one priority. But to help uh, sort of shape the future of the footy club is something I'm, I'm really excited about. You're incre incredibly well respected as an Indigenous leader. I guess um, your position now provides a bit of inspiration for those who are trying to achieve something in their life as well. I guess it, um, your position now can provide inspiration to the rest of the community as well. Yeah, representing the Swans um, and, and obviously with my culture, which I'm, I'm very passionate and proud of. I think if you, um, that was a great example for younger people coming up saying, oh wow, and they watch you on television and they want to do that. And I think now becoming a business owner or a coach um, and now being on the board, just I think it just opens that, that door a little bit more. Um, and I'll be coming in and making a, a, an, in, an impact straight away. Um, I really, you know, make no bones about becoming a, an advocate for the players, coaches, recruiting and all that football department. I think that's where my strength lies um, and something that I'm really looking forward to rolling the sleeves up and, and getting to work. And, and if other people see that and, and think, wow, I'd love to do that one day, that's brilliant. Um, but it's a lot of hard work and um, hopefully that, uh, I can leave that uh, as a good example for them to, to hopefully follow in those footsteps.